Welcome to Packing Our Trunks. Uh, we're Nikki and Kevin and we live full time in our camper van Nelly. You can just see over there. Um, we are a married couple in our late 50s, originally from Devon in the UK. And we are currently touring Ireland. So, subscribe and come along on our journey. We are in a little village called Ardmore, um, getting down to the south now of Ireland. We drove the Copper Coast yesterday and uh, we arrived here a bit late, a bit naive yesterday, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, it was really busy, wasn't it? One of the towns that we wanted to stop in. There was a really good air, well there's a couple of places, Yeah. but they were completely full. Yeah, yeah we really misjudged it, we didn't say, we? No, we're not seeing any yeah. vans on the road. And we, but they're all there, weren't we? We got they? here and there was, there was one spot in this air, so we didn't look any further. We uh, we parked up and woke up to the sound of the ocean here this morning. Yeah, so, and it's been lovely. There's so many people in the sea as well. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Yeah, it's So lovely. let's go and explore Ardmore. Right, this is what I've got, and this is from memory, and this. <laughs> we, uh, Ardmore is a town, about 500 people, um, and it is thought to be where possibly Christianity first uh, started spreading across Ireland, brought here by St. Declan, who preceded even St. Patrick. Um, and the folklore is, that that rock down there is St Declan's Bell, which according to ancient folklore floated across the ocean um, after his servant forgot to pack it and decreed wherever the stone came to rest be the place where he would set his episcopal residence. And that's why Ardmore became the first Christian settlement in Ireland. This stone, Apparently, is not not uh, natural to this area. So some people think maybe it was ballast from an old ship that got wrecked or something like that. So the story of Saint Declan um, dates back to the fifth century, and yet there's still strong following, and people still come here and believe there's a well here, believe in the powers of the holy water. It is, I have to say, if I look here, it's got a bit of a mystical thing going on there. What, what purpose did, did this serve? It was a, uh, look. Oh. Just get through. Oh, maybe it's not animals. Really? Maybe there used to be a fence there, I don't know. And if you can see it on the camera, there's a wreck down here of some sort of platform or, or crane. Didn't read what that was, but I did read this coastline is littered with shipwrecks and is a popular spot for deep sea divers. This is a lookout tower from the Second World War. There were 83 on the Irish coast over there is a much older lookout tower, which had to be manned, was built at the turn of the 19th century. We don't claim to be historians. We don't claim to be historians. Or have a deep knowledge of the workings of the uh, churches through time. Here is they think dates back to the same time there was a cathedral here. Ardmore hasn't had a bishop of its own since the 12th century, I think I'm right in saying. So therefore we know this predates that. It is quite incredible, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It's quite surreal as well with all the mist that's, that's shrouding it now, isn't it? What are you doing, Nicky? Wow. <laughs> We're going to have the first dip in Ireland. It looks, it looks uninviting. Good morning. 
welcome back. We've woken up at Charles Fort at Kinsale. Um, we've got a beautiful view this morning. We had a lovely night's sleep, really, really peaceful. Um, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Nice and peaceful last yeah, night. It's really dark, but when I come out, um, you see the lights of the town, but it was dark here. It, it was lovely and quiet. Yeah. yeah. Boy races. No, it was really good. So we're going to head off this morning and have a have a run, go and have a look at Kinsale. Um, I think we've got rain coming in later on today, so we thought we'd try and beat the weather, didn't we? So we'll take you along. Just going to look at the town. Excuse our uh, hanging towels. Lovely town, isn't it? A nice yeah, town, really Kinsale. Nice. Well worth a visit. It's actually yeah. the start or end point of the Wild Atlantic Way. I recommend spending some time here. Slept overnight at the fort, didn't feel we were um, made unwelcome. Dog walk was very friendly this morning. And what we got, Nikki? Oh, what we got? Wow. What we got? We've been into the tourist information centre. Absolutely brilliant in there, weren't they? Really, really recommend really going in there. So we got a map of Kinsale and we got a guide to caravan and camping, a motorhome guide for Ireland and we got all of these of the Wild Atlantic each county Way. Map. Yeah, each county. So as we said earlier, we're going uh, south to north, aren't we? We got that tip from a YouTube channel called Jits Into The Sunset because A, the sea's on your left and B, uh, you'll go in the same direction as the coach tours so you don't have to negotiate them coming towards you. And also we went into the local bookshop and because we've been struggling a bit with the walks haven't we? Yeah. And we want to go and just we want to go and explore some of the mountains so we've treated ourselves to Ireland's best walks yep. and we've also treated ourselves to the Beera and Sheep's Head Peninsulas so there's walks and runs and all sorts in yeah. there. We're at uh, Old Kinsale Head. Behind me there is a reconstructed Napoleonic signal tower. And this is also the um, site of the sinking, the famous ship, the Lusitania. Actual incredible perforated image. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? That's, that's We're impressed by that. Yeah. The first official uh, stopping point on the Wild Atlantic Way, Old Head of Kinsale. We've woken up here at Broadstrand between Kinsale and Connacilty uh, on the World Atlantic Way, and uh, we had a cracking night listening to that. Listen, Beautiful. and look where we've woken up. We feel welcome and blessed, don't we? Yep, absolutely. But we can't really give you the full sunrise because we're going walking now. Yeah, we've been up a while. We're waiting, yeah. haven't we? Waiting for it waiting to get light. light we're so. about to go now. So we're going to go and have a look at 
so right, we're yeah. loving Ireland right. so far. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Ready, come on. We've been absolutely attacked by midges. This beach is called Blind Strand. Blind Strand. We're parked at a place called Broad Strand, about a mile over there. And we can have our breakfast here, can't we? Yeah. At nine o'clock in yeah, the morning. There's nobody here. We haven't seen anybody, have we? Haven't seen a soul no. on this walk. No. And now we're going to sit down on this beach. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. The best investment, if you want some solitude, is walking boots or running shoes. There's no car park here. So unless you walk here, you're not coming in. We have got this to ourselves. Hello, Nelly. You do your filming now, can't you? Oh, she looks all right, doesn't she? What a lovely park up, hasn't it? So we're back on the Wild Atlantic Way and um, but, yeah, we've got lost a little bit, haven't we? We've had a bit of a detour, been around the countryside. Yeah. Um, the beaches are absolutely stunning, yeah. really, really beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, they are something, yeah, something else, yeah. beaches. So some Wild Atlantic Way van life reality for you. We veered off the Wild Atlantic Way because we wanted to find a hardware shop because one of us, well, yeah. me drove over our stall. <laughs> anyway, we went for a swim with the locals oh. this morning, which was just amazing. And um, that was at a beach called Broad Strand. And we're now at a beach called Red Strand. And um, we're going to have lunch here, I think. It's just raining at the moment, so we're sitting oh, in the van and have some lunch. <laughs> Feel bit again. Yeah. One of us, <laughs> me, drove over our step, Nikki's beloved step. Good morning. Good morning, take, take three. three. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're parked in a lovely village called Baltimore. Um, it is at the southernmost tip of Ireland, and uh, we're lucky we've got a space to overlook and see. And the first place we went to, we're still learning van life. The first place we went to. Yeah, it was a bit scrappy, and it was a bit. It was a big derelict building opposite us, um, and we just I don't know. And you got. It just didn't, didn't feel, feel right. right. It's October. There's it's... no other vans there. No, we've not seen any vans on the road, have we? No, so... we haven't. Yeah. It's in the corner, yeah. aren't they? Out the way. There are toilets and showers. Uh, showers are um, a euro for three minutes. Yeah. There's a it's... free. There is a, there is laundry facilities there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a lovely park up. So this morning we got up in the dark with a head torch, and uh, we plotted a sort of two and a half, three hour route. For a run, we're walking while we're talking. Obviously, we go to a beautiful place called uh, Loch Hine, and we added in a climb to a fairly famous hill here 
called uh, Nognamar. So um, if anybody else has got a GoPro that occasionally doesn't record the sound, uh, let us know in the comments. It's blooming frustrating. We're not experts, but here's a van life reality. And across the road is toilets, showers that are only a euro for three minutes. There's a bin here, there's recycling here. We got it we got it all going on, haven't we? We have you've got everything. There's water yeah. here, yeah. yeah. You you have to use the opportunity yeah. when it's in front of you. Good morning and welcome back. We're just leaving our lovely park up in Baltimore. A couple of nights here and um, it's been lovely, really good. Um, so we're just heading towards Mizzen Head, but we're going to stop for some lunch. And I found a little park up um, right on the, um, on the coast, but very narrow roads to get to it. So fingers crossed. Massive anxiety. <laughs> don't, um, don't have it Kev's, Kev's turning around. I was going sideways. I was saying I've got massive anxiety now. I am. Kev, Kev was going sideways. But um, yeah, we're here at our park up. Wow, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I do, I, do, <laughs> I do feel a bit anxious though. It was, um, yeah, it was, it, yeah, no. Yeah. It, yeah. I suppose I'm lucky because I did a delivery van driver job in rural Devon and taxiing in rural Devon. So it's sort of more used to the crappy roads, but. All I can say is I'm glad I wasn't driving. <laughs> but look where we are. Road, weren't we? As normal. We're gonna see if we can squeeze back through this um this quite this narrow, narrow yeah. yeah, there's a car park down here that's really tight. is right at the southwest point of Ireland and is even with the poor weather and lack of visibility on the day we went quite spectacular. The walk from the visitor centre across the bridge to the old signal station almost literally took our breath away. We would say that, it, that this is a must visit spot if you're touring Ireland. What an incredible place! <laughs> has got a really strong light on his camera. Um, so last week we left you at New Ross. Um, we'd just done a park run at the JFK um, Arboretum. So this week we have gone from New Ross back up there and we went down to Waterford for 
LPG and shopping, etc. We left Waterford and we followed the coast road round to Tranmore and picked up this lovely road here all the way down to Dungarvan where we were going to we found a park up but the park up didn't work out it was out it was a weekend it was Saturday and it was absolutely packed so we carried on down we followed this lovely road down here and we came to a place called Ardmore so we stayed the night Ardmore and the next day we came back up we went to through yoga we decided to bypass Cork and we came down the road here decided to get to the start or the finish of the Wild Atlantic Way and then the next day we started our journey on the Wild Atlantic Way from Kinsale down to the old head of Kinsale. We went along the coast again, picked up the coast, and we came down here and we stayed at Broad Sand Strand. Picked up the coast road again. This is the Wild Atlantic Way. And we had lunch in a beautiful place called Red Strand. Carried on up and we followed the road to Skibbereen and then we went right through and we followed it down to Baltimore. And then we went from Baltimore back up and followed the road round here. And we went, today we went down to, all the way down to Mizzenhead. Then we came all the way back up and followed the road round and we're now on the Sheep's Head Peninsula. Um, we're right on the top of a mountain or a hill? Mountain, mountain, yeah. mountain. And we're hoping to do a big walk tomorrow. But we've used half a tank of diesel since <laughs> last Saturday and it's now Thursday. Thank you very much for watching. We're tired. <laughs> Kes just had the light <laughs> flashing in our eyes, so we're still blinking and we've still got tears. <laughs> oh dear, uh, what a week we've had, but a brilliant week, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, that, so that's really the good. end of our second video in Ireland. We're having an absolute ball. Yeah, really good. Um, we've just, the scenery's amazing. I hope, I hope it's come across in the video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Yep. Um, and if you've enjoyed what we do, please please do subscribe and like our video yep. and ring the bell ring the bell get, get notified like when it. our third island video comes out next week um and leave a comment yeah uh, comments yeah, would be do. lovely any other places that you could recommend <laughs> although yeah. i have to that, say that, that we're, i know we're really struggling to, we're, we're to not, get anywhere aren't getting, we? We, we just <laughs> we just opened the whole map up and realized we aren't going to see the wild atlantic way in eight weeks <laughs> But anyway, we're having a great time. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you as ever, and we'll see you next week. Yep. Okay, bye, bye. for now.